Colleagues, for me, today is the final vote. Today is a final vote for you. Because if this is a bill that you advance to select file, that tells me all I need to know. We're not going to get to that amendment you want. This bill was dirty from the start. Throughout the entire course of this negotiation, let's see, today's day 49, so, you know, for the last 49 days of conversation, which with the speaker, with other legislative leaders in this body has kind of revolved around this bill, frankly. Um, we've made it clear that this is a line in the sand. And people have said, well, what if we go after your bills? What if we put a bunch of bills introduced by progressives up on the agenda? Are you going to filibuster those too? Yeah. Yes, because we're not like you. We have a principle and a value that actually matters that much to us that we're willing to stand up for. This is how much this matters to us. You guys really don't get it. You really don't get that the session is over. And you're asking what precedent this sets. Is everything going to be like this now? Anytime anybody doesn't like a bill, is it going to be like this now? Subsequent motions, taking time, filibustering every bill? No. The fact that you're asking that shows me that you really don't get it, Senator Von Gillern. You really don't get it. You've crossed a line and you've gone too far. This bill harms me in an unforgivable way. And this is a line that you don't cross with me. If you cross it today, you're staying on the other side of it because you have done irreparable harm. And you're doing harm to the body and to Nebraska as well. Don't say hi to me in the hall. Don't ask me how my weekend was. Don't walk by my desk and ask me anything. Don't send me Christmas card. Take me off the list. You don't know me. We have no relationship. And if you don't believe me, if you think I'm going to cool down and change my mind, you should believe me. No one in the world holds a grudge like me. And no one in the world cares less about being petty than me. I don't care. I don't like you. You want welcome in my space. You aren't a safe person for my child to be around, or any child, frankly. Don't believe me? You should. Senator Hughes yesterday was asking all kinds of questions on the microphone, seemingly coming from a place of complete sincerity about how does this care work? Um, do parents have to consent every time for kids to get gender-affirming care? Questions that had already been answered. And this morning, Senator Fredrickson was answering those questions again, and she's sitting under the balcony not listening. So I go over there and I say, he's speaking to you. He's answering the questions that you specifically had that ostensibly were, you know, preventing you from supporting this bill or not. Now she's sitting with Kathleen Kouth, who's probably saying, don't worry, girl, hold strong. We're going we're gonna to get those trans kids. Don't worry. Don't listen to Megan. Screw that. Senator Hughes said, well, some people sent me some emails. So I guess some people sent her some emails, and she probably definitely read them and took them to heart. So now she knows all the facts about what trans kids go through. One of the most hateful, bigoted, and wrong things that Senator Kathleen Kouth has said during this debate is that trans kids are hurting and sad. She might be right about that, but she's not right about why. The actions of bullies like Senator Kouth is what caused trans kids pain, not the fact that they're trans. Trans kids are normal, but for adults like Kathleen Kouth who harass them, who introduce bills to make their life harder, to make them feel like outsiders when they are not. There's nothing wrong with them. They get good grades, they go to school, they do activities and clubs, they have friends, they date, they have dreams and goals, they get married, they have kids, just like everybody else. Hopefully someday they run for the legislature and they can straighten some people out. 
trans kids who experience anxiety, it's not because of who they are, it's because of bullies like Senator Kathleen Kalth and the rest of you who are going along with her. You're acting like this bill is necessary to protect children when the truth is that children are harmed even by the introduction of bills like this. But I think for Senator Kathleen Kaut, that's the point. The point, because protecting children to her makes it, means that it's impossible for them to be trans and be alive. To her, that's protecting kids. The harm even introducing this bill does. I'm getting voicemails, messages, emails, people making posts calling me a groomer, saying I'm a pedophile, and worse. None of that hurts me emotionally, I'm fine, but it certainly does defame me. It's defamatory. And for what? For minding my business, for living my life, for loving my child, just like any of you would. I explicitly said this yesterday when I spoke to you, that this was the reason I hesitated to center my own experiences in my own comments on my own time, because the results of doing that are just this. This is the harm the bill does just by being introduced. And Kathleen Kalth has no apologies for that. She's happy with how this is going. It wasn't enough to introduce it, by the way. You also had to silence testimony on it. Senator Ben Hansen, you had kids crying in the hallway because you wanted to stop committee hearings and stop testimony so you could go to dinner. You wanted to silence the voices of Nebraskans who took time off, who came to speak to their senators, their representatives, which is a really intimidating thing, especially when you're a trans kid and you know you're walking into a room of people who say they hate you. Oh, we didn't literally say we hate them. Then don't vote for this bill. What's wrong with you? You don't understand the difference between what you say and what you do? Even little children know it doesn't matter what you say. It only matters what you do. And today you're going to do something that can really harm a lot of people. It's because of you that we're here, and it's because of you that the session is over. But all of you still have a choice. The hate that I'm getting the threats that I'm getting, that's actually because of you. But for your actions and doing this, but for Senator Arch not abiding by the deal we made, but for Senator Kathleen Kouth introducing this, but for Senator Brandt and Senator Dorn agreeing to vote for it, but for Senator Jacobson agreeing to do some um, procedural shenanigans with Senator Slama. None of you are on our side. None of you are on the side of Nebraska children. You're trying to find any way to worm around so you can find a way to get to yes. When most of you actually hate this bill. This isn't one of those bills that's a game to win, that a compromise is a victory. A compromise is not a victory here. We have to kill it or the session's over today. Today is the final vote. Each child, colleagues, is a unique individual, born a certain way, and we have to let each child be the best person they are, and it's not up to the state to tell parents what that means. One minute. We have to trust Nebraskans to do the right thing. We have to trust our neighbors and our friends and family and our communities to know what's best for their children. And I want you to trust me. Thank you, Mr. President. I withdraw my motion.